Hey there, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be making some body butter. I'm going to show you how I take natural butter that looks like this and turn it into a luxurious body butter that looks like this. Guys, this body butter is moisturizing, it helps prevent dry skin, and it can even help prevent wrinkles. Wanna see exactly how I make this luxurious body butter? Well, keep watching. So let's hop right into these ingredients. So the first ingredient that I'm going to be using is Takuma butter. So Takuma butter is an excellent emollient butter. It is very high in lauric acid. It also has oleic acid and myristic acid. So this body butter is excellent at preventing wrinkles. So this is the first ingredient that I'll be using. The next ingredient is kapuasu butter. So kapuasu butter is extremely moisturizing. It has anti-inflammatory properties and it improves the elasticity of skin. It also helps to heal dry skin and produce collagen. So this is another one of my favorite butters. So now I'm just measuring out my Takuma butter. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure out my kapuasu butter. And I'm using a digital scale in order to measure out both of these butters because I want to make sure that my measurements are very accurate. Moving on to the next ingredient, I'm going to be measuring out some oils. So the first oil that I'm measuring out is apricot kernel oil. This is one of my favorite oils. It's very light and it absorbs into the skin very easily. The next oil that I'm measuring out is sweet almond oil. And of course, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I am a huge fan of sweet almond oil and I use it in a lot of my skincare products. Now, in order to make this body butter glide onto my skin super easily and give it a nice luxurious feel, I'm measuring out some cetyl alcohol. So this is a fatty alcohol normally used in emulsified skincare products. However, because I want it to just glide onto my skin and feel very luxurious, I'm using the cetyl alcohol for the texture, as well as to add a little bit of thickness to my butter. So now that I have several of my ingredients all measured out, I'm going to go ahead and place them all in a bowl together. So I've added in both of my butters, my Takuma butter and my Kapawasu butter. I've also added in my Settle alcohol and now I'm just adding in both of my oils. So now let's move on to the next step. So of course, this next step is melting down my ingredients. So I'm just melting them in a double boiler over low heat. So now that my butters and oils are all melted down, I'm going to transfer them over into a larger bowl so that I can prepare for my next step. I'm just placing a little saran wrap over my bowl and now I'm going to go ahead and cool down my butters in the freezer. So when I place my butters in the freezer and let them freeze, I don't want it to get too hard. So I only leave it in for about 20 minutes, but of course this can depend on the temperature of your freezer. So now I'm going to go ahead and start mixing my butter. And as you can see, it's not too hard. It is a little firm, but it's perfect. And you can see that it starts to soften up as soon as I start blending. 
So when blending your butters, you can actually use a handheld mixer like I'm using right now, or you can also use a stand mixer. So it's completely a personal preference. Of course, when you use a hand blender, um, your hand can get tired because it does take, you know, a little bit, maybe 15, 20 minutes to get a nice fluffy butter. However, when you're using a stand mixer, you can put it on low and let it whip up over time. So now that my mixture is pretty fluffy, I'm going to go ahead and measure out another ingredient. So this ingredient is going to help cut down on the greasiness. So you can either use arrowroot powder or you can use cornstarch. Today, I'm going to use a little bit of cornstarch in this recipe. And now that I've added in my cornstarch, which of course, again, is going to help cut down on the greasiness, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it in a little bit more with my hand mixer. And guys, if you're interested in any of the products that I'm mentioning, please check out the description box below. And also, if you're interested in learning more about how to make your own body butters and customize them, and overall, you're just wanting to know what butters to use, what temperature to use for your butters, and also how to troubleshoot check out my ultimate guide to body butter there will be a link in the description box below so now that my cornstarch is added in i'm going to go ahead and add in another ingredient and this is my vitamin e so i will not be using a preservative in this body butter because there is no water in this recipe so in order to extend the life of the body butter i'm just going to be using vitamin E, which is an antioxidant. And I'm also adding in a little bit of fragrance in order to give my body butter a nice luxurious scent. And look how fluffy this body butter came out. It looks delicious. You can almost eat it, but please, again, do not eat any of the products that I make on this channel unless I specify that it is actually food. So now I'm going to move on to the next step, which is to add a little bit of pizzazz and a color to my body butter. So I'm going to be using purple, as you can see. And I'm just going to mix the color in. So this is a purple mica. Also, it's super easy to go ahead and use a handheld blender, which is what I'm actually going to go ahead and do now. So using a handheld mixer in order to blend in your color actually helps to disperse the color better. So I do actually recommend using a handheld mixer when trying to blend in your um, mica. So now that I'm happy with the purple color, I'm going to go ahead and add in my next color to my second half of the body butter. So I'm using a pink color for this half.
So now that both of my body butter colors are ready, I'm just preparing to pipe my body butter. So of course you can go ahead and scoop your body butter out and put it into a jar. But because I sometimes like to be a little bit extra when packaging my body butters, I go ahead and go through the extra step of piping it. So now that both of my colors are ready, I'm just piping it into a jar and you can use either a plastic jar or a glass jar, it's completely up to you. But guys, this is my body butter and I love how the colors came out and it smells delicious. So if you're interested again in learning how to customize and make your own body butter, don't forget to check out the description box below. There will be a link in the description box for my ultimate guide to body butter. This guide will teach you everything you need to know about starting to make your own body butter. Also, don't forget to head over to my website where I have lots of free DIY skincare recipes that you can enjoy and you can start making your own DIY skincare products in no time. Products and ingredients that I used in this video can also be found in the description box below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.